5.45 in the morning. I just spent the last 45 minutes trying to get a hot shower. The best I got was lukewarm to cold since I couldn't take a shower. So I plugged up the bathtub and used the ice bucket full of water in the microwave like six times to get above body temperature so it wasn't freezing cold. I let the water run for 45 minutes. It never got warm. It got lukewarm at once, and then the the sink got hot for like 30 seconds, and then it turned ice cold. So that's just great. You know, I got to be in a room full of people with a five-minute bath <laughs> slash cold shower. Fantastic. Take a little walk. two hours before the uh, shuttle comes to pick us up. Sun's coming up. Cross street here. Get some energy drinks. Or an energy drink. But we're at the high V. They have these things all over town. They have one. At the Schuster lot too, at the terminal. Because uh, I don't think you can see it from here, but there's like two ice cream plants here. There's uh, Wells Blue Bunny and Kemp's. Oh, come on! It's not gonna let me see that, is it? There we are. Like that's what I'm going to be hauling out of here a lot. There's going to be a couple of adjustments here from what I can tell. I'm going to be at the terminal like two or three times a month, which I am just not used to. But we'll see. As long as, as, long as I don't sit here all weekend from time to time, stuff like that, I'll be fine. I probably should have looked up the hours of service if this place is open. I don't think it is. My clock in my room is off. It's only 5.46. Bummer. The internet says it opens at 5. I cannot figure out if they're open or not. They don't look open. Open? I'm gonna do without. I at least got coffee out yet. Sitting here waiting for the shuttle. I was thinking about yesterday. The owner of the company sitting there in his corner office, door open. We had three new hires me and two other dudes. We all got taken up to where the dispatchers and all the operations crew is. We all got told that that was Mr. Schuster's office and he was sitting there with his door open and they had an open door policy. As soon as I heard that, it's like, okay, well, the respectful thing to do is that this is the man signing my paychecks is to go in there and shake his hand, say thank you for the opportunity, look forward to working for you. So when I was done with my dispatcher, that's what I went and did. He said, yeah, we got an open door policy. Go ahead. Walked in. And I said, Mr. Schuster. And he said, yep. So uh, just want to come shake your hand. Say thanks for the opportunity. And uh, looking forward to working for you. And he looked shocked because I'm guessing that's not something a lot of people do anymore. I was taught, you know, by my mentors coming up that, that that's how you do things. When you're starting a new job, things like that. 
you want to put your best foot forward. You want to make an impression because opportunities come around. I know in trucking it may not seem like that's a thing that happens, but you never know. Man, there's nothing wrong with making an impression on your boss. And he is my boss. You know, he's going to be signing my paychecks. So now he knows my face and he knows I got a firm handshake and then I'm willing to come in and say hi. And thank him for the opportunity. Oh, there's just something I was thinking about. If you're in a situation where you're starting a new job and they have a, the owner of the comp company has an open door policy and he's sitting there not doing nothing. He wasn't on the phone. He's just kind of digging around on, on his computer. I go in and take 30 seconds, introduce myself, you know, say thanks for the opportunity. Have a nice day. Another day down. That's a free bottle. Uh, one of the boys from orientation is apparently flat broke. Uh, you got, I gave him my uh, $15 in coupons. And because he needs body wash, apparently, and he's allergic to the hotel soap. So I told him if he'll walk over to the high V and see if he can, because they'll accept his box there, and see if they have what he needs, then that would be fine. If not, I'm going to walk over to Walmart with him. Get him what he needs so he can take a shower. Let's see if they have hot water now. They had somebody in here working on it today. Warm, warm. Hot. We got hot water. Bathroom. Watch this light. Every time. Let's see. If that dude doesn't come knock on my door in the next hour or two, I'll be done for the day. Say when I got here, and when I still had a rental car, I went and got a bunch of, or a couple, TV dinners and stuff. If I was real hungry, I could call for more pizza or something. We're not hurting for money at the moment. But yeah, for now, I'm going to hang out here. I'll give him a couple hours. If he shows up here in three hours, I'll tell him to screw off, dude. Whew. I'm not walking. But... If I could find an ATM that was in distance, I'd just give him $20 in cash or something. Oh. We've all been broke, but everybody's got a sack sack story sometimes. But I'm gonna give the wife a call, give her an update. Hang out here for a while. Tomorrow will be the last day. She's st they're still waiting on drug tests. And all that to come back. And then. I got my truck assignment today. I didn't get to see the truck. <sighs> Maybe I can. Keep my eyes open a little later today. And sleep through the night. Instead of. As I got here yesterday. I fell asleep by 6 o'clock in the afternoon and woke up at 2 o'clock this morning. So it's been a day. I don't think I have enough for another video, so I'll probably keep this going until uh, I get done. Get in the truck and all that tomorrow. I'll give you guys a tour of the truck. And, um, when I get in the truck, I'm probably going to go down to the Walmart because we can put a refrigerator in the thing but we've got to buy it so I'm gonna go see what kind of refrigerator they have down at Walmart pretty much put whatever size one you want in there you could probably put a full-size like freezer fridge in there but I'm not gonna do that that's a little excessive I mean it'd be nice to have it but yeah I don't I don't think that's a good idea get a little Kind of like what this is in here. Maybe with a, a freezer. It's got a freezer, but pretty small freezer. So. Like the one I had last time, it had a you know, separate freezer space, separate door, and it was still only about that tall. And 
it fit everything I needed in it. So maybe I'll get online here. Or if I got to walk to Walmart, I can go look at them, figure out what they got. Oh, let me pack out a key here, right? Are these in here? We literally just had to barely walk through past the parking lot. This hotel's right in front of Walmart. Probably some deodorant. And myself one. And some body wash. Ooh. Gave him $20 cash in case he needs something else between now and the end of the tomorrow. But nothing. I'm done for the day. Got up a little late this morning. About 15 minutes to grab me something to eat. Jesus, these are killing me this morning. Get my truck for the first time. If I can find it. We go check out the hotel. And I'm gonna go over to Walmart and grab the refrigerator that I went and picked out yesterday. And do a little inspection. Take it on back up there. Hopefully I'll be out of here today. refrigerator from Walmart go back I still got a bunch of crap to do and then I got to call the dispatcher see if I got a load yet because that'd be nice <sighs> right over to Walmart this fridge
at the yard. microwave too just because it's gonna be a few days before I get home. I have some food and stuff I'll need to heat up. Signed up my first load. Sitting here on the yard, real light load of ice cream cones going to Bakersfield, California, 1600 miles. Four days to do it, which is more than enough. I want to find this trailer. 5136. Hook it and bug it. Maybe when I've been with them for a while, I'll risk it and go just to show you guys that path. But not the first trip out, you know what I mean? Once I've been out for a year or so, I'll, I'll sneak through that way. And uh, as long as I don't get broke down in the middle of nowhere in I-70, I'll be good. But I need to go to the, up to the loves, weigh this thing, fuel it up, and uh, all ass towards California.
seven o'clock this morning it's six o'clock in the evening I was thinking about keeping going but I know better there's places like I found a place here in Grand Island like that's a miracle as it is so I might as well take my 10 here and then I mean I got more than enough time on this load it's the 10th it delivers on the 14th in Burbank or uh, yeah Burbank was it Burbank? I don't think it's Burbank. It might be Burbank. It is Burbank. No, it's Bakersfield. Bakersfield. It's a lot better than Burbank. It's north of LA by a way, oh, for a ways. You don't really get into LA traffic there. It's a little town, small, way smaller town. Anyway, yeah, it delivers out there 6 a.m. Thursday or on the 14th. It's the 10th, so I'll get out somewhere in the middle of Wyoming tomorrow, probably the Green River, Rock City, something like that, and then do a big push down into Nevada or maybe even into Barstow. If I get if I get in early enough, I can get to Barstow. There's several truck stops there in Barstow, and then I'll I'll be an hour and a half, two hours from Bakersfield, and then get this thing in there. I'll I'll probably end up in Barstow a day early. So I was told they will only take me four hours early. So I'm in no hurry. Might as well park here, edit my video, get some rest roll out of here. I want to try to drive through the day because first of all, it's out west. There isn't that much traffic. Second of all, I want you guys to see if you haven't been out that way. Once I get into Evingston and stuff, there's some good scenery I want you guys to see. That's another bonus about getting out of that Hirschbach deal is that I'm not going to be in that one little circle anymore. I'm going to be all over the country again. So that'd be neat. You guys get to see some of the stuff you haven't seen yet because if you've been with me the whole time, you've seen the same like five states over and over so now you'll get to see some more interesting stuff i'm going to drive right through vegas or right around vegas you won't see much of vegas from the route i'm on but i'll try to get some images i'm not going to stop in vegas because it might be fun for you guys but for a truck driver vegas is not fun because there's not that much truck parking and i'm just going to drive through vegas most likely i've got no interest in going to vegas anyway if i was going to go it'd be with my wife and I don't think either one of us have any interest in going to Vegas, but done for the day. I'm going to edit this video, get it sent out to you guys, and then start fresh in the morning. <laughs> 